Hi y'all. Hi. It's Susan and Randy from Blue Bottle Bunny Farm tonight. And uh, we're going to make some bread. Homemade bread. We're going to make... What kind of bread are we going to make, Randy? Well, for the first time tonight, we're going to try some Bible bread. It's a recipe that I've uh, uh, drawn up here off of the recipe in the Bible. Oh, and I think you know the verse. You mean the one in Ezekiel 4, verse 9 through 17? Yeah. That is the one. <laughs> and All so right. it, uh, we'll just start off and you'll see the ingredients that go into it and you try this recipe at home. We ground our grains by hand yes. with the grinder the other night. We have a video on that. And so we have ground these up. These are all homemade flours. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. So hand me the first one down there, the quarter cup. Of, first thing, let me start with the big one. Okay. Okay. This is uh, three cups of white flour, regular white flour from the store, three cups of the wheat flour that we ground ourselves. So, I'm going to pour that in. Hand me that quarter cup of lentil, quarter go. cup of lentil here, and now hand me the uh, quarter cup of millet, and the pinto bean. Alright. There we go. And a tablespoon of salt. There we go. There we are. Okay. So I believe we've got our dry ingredients together. I got it. You cook, okay. I'll clean. All right. I'll, I'll cook, she'll clean. Uh, she'll be doing the butchering videos. She's, <laughs> she is the butcher in the family. And so I'm not always here behind the mixer, but uh, we do have our duties. We, yeah, we have a role. We, have we our each roles. do parts and things of that and I even have a few roles in butchering. So anyway, we'll move along here. We're just we're gonna stir these up just a little bit. Okay, good. Let me tell you about what the wet ingredients are now. The wet ingredients are gonna be uh, one quarter cup of oil. I used olive oil and it will be four teaspoons of yeast or two packages. And um, how much water did you put in that yeast? Well, it, it's interesting how I did the water. I just put all four in a, excuse me, uh, that's another ingredient. So let me go be, back up to the wet ingredient here. Two and a quarter cups of water. Two and a quarter cups of water. Right. So you took part of the water and mixed it. It was warm water, right? It was. I put it in the microwave just to make sure it was warm, not hot, just fairly warm, you know, about 100 degrees probably. Okay. And then you put the yeast in there, and it's nice and foamy looking. Yeah, uh -oh. I, I put in the Hop yeast. Down, Mr. Cat. And uh, what it did was it put two tablespoons of sugar. Oh, okay. And one tablespoon of honey. So that is also a mix that goes into the bread, of course. But I just prefer to put mine in with the yeast to get this yeast kick started. So you go ahead and pour well, that Let's kick start this bread. Yeah. So there is your you quarter cup of oil. There we go. We might have to kick start this old mixer. It was made in the 1950s. Oh, well, so were you, but you're all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so this is our yeast mixture. It is. It just looked like a foam bomb, didn't it? Oh, could you make this with beer? What do a that beer taste batter like? bread? Yeah. Uh, never heard of that. I haven't either, but it sounds Look like Look it up on the internet. You can find anything Google. on the internet. Okay, and the rest of the water. Not all of it. Stop. Oh. And we are going to turn the mixer on. Oh, great. Oh, boy. I'm making a mess. <laughs> and then uh, add the last little bit. Well, I'm not Go going ahead to use that. you got to keep your fingers Here, stop. a little... And one more thing. I forgot. Pour a little water in my yeast bowl so I get it all, please. Well, keep your fingers away from the mixer. Oh, yeah. Because like you told me a hundred times... This thing will eat you alive. It will. It don't stop for fingers. Yeah. Eats, eats That's, a good way of putting it. That's a good way of putting it. Alright, last of that yeast. And now you put in the last of your, last of your water. And how long do you do that, Randy? There you go. Thank you. My little thing right, right with me. Um, we're just going to mix this up until it begins to puff just a little and have a good consistency to it as it's turning. Um, so, well, that'll, take, that'll take about five minutes, a little more right. Well, we'll show you what we did after it becomes dough. Okay, we're back. Um, mixed it up for about six minutes, and uh, Susan pulled it out. Yes. Put it on the cutting board. And now we're going to cut it in half, place it in some baking 
pans that we sprayed with Pam. And Susan, go ahead and cut Susan it in got half. a little flour to put on her hands, and sure enough, it worked real well to get this stuff kind of over here dough. to the board. Yeah, I thought so too. So you want to put a little more on? And no, I think it'll be okay. It's Look, good. just put it in here. And Boy, that's got a nice puffiness to it. Yes, it's a nice, pretty bread. Looks like it's changing shape right while we're looking at it. Alright, so first time we've made it with this first time recipe, we've made though, this. So, so we're gonna put this in just a warm oven. About how hot yeah. is it, Randy? Well, actually, what I did was while mm -hmm. it was mixing up, I just hit bake for about one minute or two minutes at 350, and just to get a little warmth in that oven, opened the door for a minute, made sure it wasn't too hot. It feels like it's about 150 degrees. It's and not then, very hot at all. Well, hopefully, it's not quite that high. You know. Well. Closer to 110, something like that. But it, it'll be fine. It helps it rise when it's a yeah. little hot. So, um, we'll show you the bread once it's risen. Yeah, we'll see what's up next. Okay, we're back. Just thought I'd show you. This has uh, been in the oven for oh, about an hour, 20 minutes, maybe something like that hour. And uh, it's, right, it's risen enough. And we're going to bake it at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes. It's about double the size, hasn't it? It sure has, and that's good. That's good because on the inside, it'll be a short loaf, but on the inside, it should be fluffy. All right, well, let's bake it and see how it looks. Well, uh, yeah. We'll let you know soon. Well, we're back again. Uh -huh. And this time, we have bread. Yeah, beautiful results. Beautiful. This is... Um, this is a piece we, we cut, and it has our homemade butter on it that we made yesterday, and we'll leave a link to that video. What I think is the great thing, Randy, is that we made the flour ourselves for this. Right. The and then we made the butter ourselves, the and then we made the bread, so... You know, it's, it's just yeah, it's really and cool. The, the loaf is really spongy. It's really soft and it raised nice. And, you want to try it? And uh, she betcha. Okay, this is the Bible bread. All right. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, that's going to be great. It's soft. Yeah, it is. It's very. That's it was very. Um, I can't wait till morning till we try this in toast. I love toast is always great. Toast. Croutons. Yeah. Croutons will be good. Mm. The other night we took this and shredded a little uh, cheddar cheese on top of it and stuck it in the oven and cooked it like cheese garlic toast. garlic bread and it was it was delicious. So I recommend the recipe if you can follow what we did. Maybe we'll leave it in the link below. So yeah, we should do that. We'll leave it in the link below. Thanks for watching. See you next time around. Bible bread.